Hi guys, what's up? This is Shuri from eGadgets for you. Now in this video, I'll show you a complete review of the new Samsung Galaxy Tab A. I have purchased this device and been using it for the past few days and also testing it randomly extensively for the full featured video of Samsung Galaxy Tab A and here it is. Before starting anything else, let me give you a physical overview of the full handset. On the top, as you can see, we have the Samsung branding over here, the earpiece and the front camera, which is a two megapixel shooter. It's an eight inch diagonal screen. And at the bottom, you will find the home button over here and the capacitive back button along with the multitasking button over here. Hmm. On the right hand side of the handset, you will find the noise cancellation speakers, the sound blasters, uh, the lock screen, the volume rockers up and down, the micro SD card, Again, beside the micro SD card is the slot for the single micro SIM. Remember, it uses a micro SIM and not a nano SIM. You just need to place the SIM just like that over here. On the other side of the tablet, there are no physical buttons present whatsoever. On the back of the Samsung Galaxy Tab A, you will find the 5 megapixel shooter with autofocus over here, the Samsung branding, and you will find there are two jacks over here actually, which are present uh, to hold the external cover if you purchase one. Now, now as you know, it's 8 inch display that has a resolution of 1024 and 768 pixels with a 160 ppi pixel density. It's a TFT capacitive touch screen. So the Gorilla Glass is missing from this particular device. On the top we have the toggle navigations over here and we do have the ultra power saving mode and also some other modes and the features that comes along with the premium Samsung software in the latest handsets. Then again if we go to settings over here at the bottom just go to about device and you will find the Samsung Galaxy Tab A comes with Android version 5.0.2 which is lollipop straight out of the box. Storage wise it comes with an internal memory of 16 gigs but it supports an external memory of 128 GB. So space wise there is a plenty of thing to play around with. Apart from that if you see we do have the auto brightness sensors present in this particular tablet which is a huge boost for our tablet in medium range. Again under settings, these are pretty straightforward features that you find the Wi-Fi, the Bluetooth, the airplane mode, the mobile hotspot with which you can enable the 4G network that this particular device supports and make this a Wi-Fi hotspot to connect to the internet through other devices also. Then again you can control the data usage, the sound and notifications, the display, uh, with phones, the screen timeouts, the motion gestures, the applications, stuff like that. Each and everything pretty much simple, pretty much easy and straightforward as you find in other Samsung handsets or tablets. The Tab A is very light. It weighs around 313 grams, which is 11.04 oz. And it, it has a dimension of 8.2 into 5.43 into 0.29 in inches. Holding the particular tablet in one hand is easy, smooth, and very easy to use, good for multitasking also. Now with the new set of handsets from Samsung Galaxy, they are coming with the new TouchWiz, result of which you have lesser amount of apps pre-installed and you can install those particular apps which you need and app for your use. But this particular tablet comes with the Microsoft apps inbuilt of Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, Skype and OneDrive which comes in handy for your regular usage or your office usage also. So that way or the other, the tablet does justify itself. And obviously there is a predominantly Google apps which are installed in this particular device. Now a very good feature is here that says a SightSync 3.0. Now with this particular feature, if you have a Samsung Galaxy handset along with you, you can easily pair or sync those and use it to control the tablet or vice versa just like that. So it's a very handy feature, it's a great cool feature to use and play around with. Without further ado, let us check the power of this Samsung Galaxy Tab A by hitting the Antutu to benchmark test. As you can see, it scores a healthy 20,429. Keeping in mind it's a tablet, I will not say that it's a best at the end of the day, but it's something I can live around with because this particular tablet is not that much expensive also and it's targeted for the medium range categories. So that way or the other, it's great. 
Now, if we dig deep into this particular feature with the details section over here, you will find that the Samsung Galaxy Tab A runs on a quad-core processor that is clocked at 1.2 GHz. It supports an internal memory of 16 gigs and an external memory of 128 gigs, and additionally it has a provision of a 2 gigs of RAM which comes in handy for multitasking, playing games and using the tablet for entertainment purpose to its full capacity. Additionally, this particular handset in India is sold with the 4G variations. So that is obviously a latest implementation with the internet, the browsing becomes much more fast and easy and pretty decent for the users. Since we are connected to the internet, let us very quickly go ahead and fire up the browser and see how the speed works. Now this is the official website that says egadgetsforyou.com. Go ahead and press go. You see it loads the website very quickly, very easily. And navigate over here, you will find that this particular tablet does display the website to a great deal, a great extent. A vibrancy, the responsiveness are good. The viewing angles, if I view it from any difficult or particular angle, you can see that yeah, it does now shows the screen loads very easily and whatsoever it does not pose any problem now open some websites randomly like say for another website i go over here and i just open it you see that it's open so fast and so easy now once again just a heads up the cookwitchonly.com it's our website of my wife who does a cooking blog along with a cooking channel in youtube so i guess uh, she will feel good that i browse through the website for, with this new tab okay i'll go ahead and open a particular link over here and see that yeah it does loads very fast similarly the pinch to zoom works fast and smoothly over here also you can see that yeah it's loading very fast for the readers or viewers or viewing angles each and every aspect does looks good now uh let us test the speakers the quality of the speakers the opening a video in youtube now once again it's a video from my youtube channel let me go ahead and play before anything else let me just go ahead and check the settings the quality yeah it's set to 720p so let's hit play uh keeping the volume to maximum yeah what's up it's time for another flagship model from samsung the samsung galaxy s6 been testing this device for the past two weeks now as you can see that the viewing angles is not that great but having said that it's not bad either Although I can find some pixelated views or something like that and some roughness around the edges or stuff like that. But still can live with it because not that bad either. But yeah, the volume is mind blowing. It's it's very high, pretty high I must say and, and playing very smoothly. Just preparing this full thorough review video of this particular device. This does serve the purpose of a tablet if you're uh, willing to watch a movie or browse the YouTube, see the videos and stuff like that. The speakers does comes in handy although this particular handset does not have a headphone so you need to get a 3.5 mm jack in pure headphone uh, separately or if you have it from any of your uh, other devices you can use that very easily along with this device also this particular tablet has a 4200 that is 4200 milliampere of battery which is non removable and it does gives a talk time of 11 hours and music play of up to 120 hours Believe me, on a full charge of 100%, I have used this tablet non-stop for two days. Now, it does give a very good battery backup. So that part and that aspect, I must say Samsung has improved lips and bounds with this particular tablet. Although I have said previously also that I am not a huge fan of the cameras in tablet, whether be it uh, Apple iPad or uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab also. Similarly, for this also, it has a 5 megapixel shooter at the back with no LED flash but an autofocus and at the front it has a 2 megapixel camera let us go ahead and shoot some live pictures and see how it comes along although it's night condition over here lights are not that great so as you can see I have put an object over here use the tap to focus and shooting some pictures you will see that this particular camera does shoots the objects very easily and very quickly although there are modes that are available over here as you can see you have the auto mode the panorama mode the continuous shot the beautiful face the sound and shot the sports mode so this particular mode just comes in handy but i'm not sure whether do you use the camera for a tablet for extensive use or something like that still they have given you some very beautiful and very wonderful features to use over here that like the timings 
the, the timer is over there the settings where you can play along with the picture size video size the video mode and mind you the back camera shoots a video of 720p so that's decent I must say now let us quickly go ahead and see how the pictures came along this particular uh, device I have used the focus I have used this particular region to be the focal point and if I zoom in you will see that yeah you can see it very brightly very clearly the pictures but still there is a bit of lag, a bit of roughness I must say, a bit of haziness in this particular camera. Obviously that is understandable because it's a, firstly it's a light, low light condition over here and secondly it does not use a flash, it uses autofocus only out of the back 5 megapixel camera. Still it has done a decent job. In the daylight condition as you can see it does take some beautiful, some good pictures. Not the best at the end of the day but yeah something that you can live along with and cherish in the daylight pictures and all. So the pictures just came, so came along very cool, very nice. If we switch our focus to the front camera, it, uh, I must say that it's a 2 megapixel shooter at the front that you do have the settings over here that allows you to play along with the picture size, the gesture control, the horizontal flip, the grid lines, the location tags. So simple, straightforward things that you can use with. And even for front camera, there is auto, the beauty face mode, the interval shot and the sound and shot. Now let me very quickly go ahead and shoot a selfie and see how it come along. As you can see it's a night condition over here and a 2 megapixel shooter. Still the selfie came out great I must say because you can see that not very vividly or brightly you can see the textures, the compositions and stuff like that. But still it's pretty much visible, pretty much good to the eyes. I should say that the front camera does outperform beyond my expectations and imaginations with the 2 megapixel shooter without a flash and with the in a low light condition as well. Although it is a tablet, still you can make phone calls using this. The dial pads, the numpads, pads, whatever you say are very good, easy to use, easily spaced, good for big usage and all. So making calls, receiving calls are a delight in this tablet. Again, you can use this particular tablet for SMS purposes and use it for other normal behaviors like that of Google Maps, the memorandums, listening to music. So straightforward usage, even with the advantage of a phone, it gives you the ability to use it on a tablet basis also. Now as far as my word it goes for the Samsung Galaxy Tab A, it has its list of pros and cons. Just remember, this tablet is targeted for the mid-range sections. Having said that, this comes at a price of around 20,000 INR, which is something around 350 USD in the Indian market as well as the overseas market. Now, it is an 8-inch display tablet that has a lower resolution and lower pixel density, which I personally feel that Samsung can work a lot more in that aspect. It's lightweight, easy to use, has a quad-core processor of 1.2 GHz of speed, 2 gigs of RAM that comes in handy for game playing but viewing angles are great not that brightest not that greatest end of the day camera the front although it's a low lower one does amazing job with selfies the back camera is good enough but camera is not a chief objective of a tablet Samsung Galaxy Tab A does comes in handy for browsing the nets reading purposes and multitasking also a bigger screen helps you with a lot of things Samsung has ventured big time in the tablet industry now with this mid-range device and I guess it will surely get some potential buyers who wants to own a tablet. That's it guys. I guess this video helps. Please do like the video and stay subscribed to my channel. I'll catch you guys in my next video very very soon. Bye for now.